hello guys welcome to the course google forms in this course we will talk about google forms and we will learn about google forms while having discussion and having practice hands on practice so we start with google form uh, what is actually google form is it is a tool which is used to create surveys and form for everyone so google form Uh, you can say google form is a useful tool to help you plan events send a survey or give a students a quiz a google form can be connected to a google spreadsheet if a spreadsheet is linked to the form responses will automatically be be sent to the spreadsheet otherwise users can view them on the summary of responses or page accessible from the responses What are the uses for Google Forms? You can use it for surveys, feedbacks, or for your any assessments, evaluations, or you can also send it for program proposals, RSVP, registrations, reservations also, and uh, quiz also. Why use Google Forms only? first we talk about the uses of the google forms now we will talk about why you we use google forms there are many reasons the sum of reasons that it is very simple to use wide variety of uses in and out of the classrooms that uh, from teachers to students from businessmen to employee everyone can use this google forms variety of ways to deliver the form Mean, means very variety that we talk in the previous part that for feedback for responses for evaluations for assessment responses are collected auto electronic electronically and it is a paperless you then you don't have to get up early to sneak in 130 copies at the copier ever again and it is also save your money responses are collected electronically quick and easily collected data integrated into google drive that you can easily save your data to the google drive for, for future use so what are the basic needs for uh, using google forms the main things you have to use is creating a google form a google account that like example load uh, if you do do not need a gmail address you can use your uh, work email also that something right uh, john at the rate smiu.edu to create a google account enter it to it into the your email address field it will also help to create google forms thank you hi guys In this lecture we will talk about cre creating a new google form from scratch. So in the start we will create a form and add or uh, add questions forms automatically since every changes you make. In this section we will learn about how to creating a new form, add a questions and edit questions. So we will start with the creating a new form. this is uh, we can go through google forms or you can sign in from your g suite account for google forms so we will start from scratch that we will start blank form first we have to name the our forms like we will name it google form course and after every my lecture you have uh, you have to practice and then you will come up to new lecture it will helpful to you and you will learn about new things so we will start with the uh, creating a google form course uh, we will we first name them now we will add a description like this course Learners, 
this is a short description or you can write long description also you can also now change your themes banner image background color or font style so we will start with the changing the banner image you can say uh, this settings will go here you means this head header image we have to change or you have to change the color like we, we want indigo color or blue color whatever color you want like we start with the red or we can also select header image in this section uh, you can also upload your photos or you can drag from your album like uh, we want this one header for our google forms course so this is our background header for this color uh, you can also change background color like light dark white gray shades you can also uh, change your font style like we choose another font style you write formal or you want to some crazy or playful content thank you we will talk about further in next lecture see you in next lecture hello guys hope you have practiced uh, from our previous lectures so uh, in this section we will talk about adding questions uh, so we will start with the uh, adding questions forms this is a google form course uh, so first we have to change the title of the questions you can write uh, name of the person like this is a short answer uh, you can choose sh uh, short answer you can also select paragraph but name for name you choose option sh short answer now it is up to you which question type you want like you want long paragraph like uh, for new question we will click on add questions like uh, introduction introduction so for this we have to choose uh, paragraph or for multiple questions like uh, your grade from which grade you are uh, like senior or junior fresh these are the options you can also because now they implement AI artificial intelligence so they give suggestions uh, in suggestions options uh, for this you have to choose multiple choice or you can uh, like uh, also select check boxes or you can also uh, drop down or you want something like some pictures uh, for picture we have uh, they have to upload the file uh, they will upload to our google drive allow only specific type tiles like document spreadsheets pdf images videos audio drawing which kind of uh, options you want like we only want pics so we will uncheck all the boxes we will only select image box and we also choose uh, image size like only 1 mb allowed on 10 mb allowed you can also use maximum number of files they can we can you want on say only one so we will one and you can also uh, check this question as a required questions 
because uh, if you check required uh, the people must answer to questions or you want to copy any question you can just click on this it will create a copy of that questions for your change like duplicate this is or you want this one answers which copy you can also like pick pick sometime we copied three times if you have to delete anyone we can delete it from here he will delete it from here now we just have to check the preview of our form like from here we can also check our preview like name introduction pick because we select multiple times copied multiple times you can click add files from your drive or from your folder thank you guys in this section we will talk about edit question hopefully you have practiced about edit question uh, adding questions so we will start with edit questions you can add things like images and weird videos to a questions at any time you can also reorder and delete questions like if we want to re reorder our questions we have to change the names like we can change the reorders if we want to delete any file like we copy and we have to delete one there are two questions of it we have we want to delete one we can delete one questions one item is deleted uh, you can also add a, a description or hint like description name examples john uh, you can also response uh, validations or you can also select a response validations how much length it should be minimum character and count this type kinds of things uh, you can also choose options like short answers also you can also change the orders if you want to like uh, if you want to uh, shuffle the questions added after after sub uh, this is presentation we will go and we will choose shuffle questions or order after uh, every or every person will got shuffled questions order in this in his preview save you can also add image to a questions you want to add any image any kind of image you can select image you can choose an image to upload or drag here from your album by url or taking any snapshot you can also you uh, add youtube video any you can search from here or you can paste it by url of the youtube thank you see you in next lecture guys in settings uh, in settings we will talk about collect email address response receipts added after submits see summary charts etc so let's begin with our forms now you can click on settings like journal settings uh, if you want to collect email address you will collect email email address if you want respond receipts uh, you you can check this also if response requests is or you are always it's up to you you can choose both of the options 
you can also limit to it one response that at a time from one email address only uh, one uh, one response you will receive and it will be required to sign into Google form it will not allow the others email addresses like uh, outlook.com or yahoo.com you can also uh, check the added after submit options that respondents can also add it after submit if he want because sometimes people uh, have some uh, you have to some changes have to make some changes but they forget it so if you uh, check this this mark they can also sub uh, added after submission of their forms if you want to see summary and chart response also uh, you can also check on this that ten, uh, maximum size of all files uploaded is 1 GB up to 10 GB or 100 GB 1 TB uh, it's up to you you can also uh, check this for save options uh, in this section you can also add a collaborators collaborators uh, like if you want to make anybody a collaborators to your form uh, send him this and invitations whom you want to send write his email or her email and send it to team and add message for what purpose is this forms it's up to you uh, we have changes the change uh, we do not want to add anybody so you can also use um, uh, just send in this form uh, this address or you can also invite people from this section on and click and send so we do not want to send anybody or invite in this section in this form uh, this is uh, this is only for today's see you in next lecture hello guys hopefully you have practiced in last of last lecture uh, in this lecture we will talk about how to preview your form while you are changing your form setting you can preview it to see what the changes look like you will also want to preview it when you are done at the top of uh, right you can this uh, I mark you can click on it and it will show you the your preview uh, you can see how the your forms are, are seen you can like we can also va uh, validate the email address like omer at the rate google.com if you forget uh, the at the rate it will show the invalid address thank you for hi guys now uh, this is in this section we will talk about send and sharing your form now you are ready to send out form and start collecting responses so when you are ready to send out your form you can send it by email copy paste and uh, copy paste a link in a chart or email message embedded on a website or share a link on social media there are three or more than like three options you can see here it is now we are ready to uh, send options so when you click on send options it will ask you 
if you want to collect email address or not uh, you will check and now there are three options like you want email whom you want to send uh, google form course i will invite you to fill out this form uh, you can also embed this is a link you can uh, you can also shorten this link and copy and uh, whom you want to send it by sending or whatsapp by sharing on facebook or whatsapp you can uh, also choose these two options for facebook sharing and this is for twitter sharing options you can also invent your website this one uh, because uh, it is uses a file as upload questions so we will remove the file upload questions now you can embed it on your website by this what sizes you want you can you can uh, change from here just copy this link and paste it on your website Thank you. See you in next lecture. Hey guys, in this section we will talk about the responses. From this tab, you will move to the responses options. When you created a new or new form, response collection is automatically turned on. You can pause or stop it. For example, if you find a mistake after sending out a form. you can pause response collecting until the error is fixed like you stop this uh, and you have to make any changes you can change here and after that making changes you can also enable this options uh, add a message option you can also uh, add a message options in your sections like you will go the in presentation in message section you can also write thank you for your uh, thank you or thank you for filling our form we can also write confirmation message thank you see you in next lecture Hello guys. Now we will talk about analyzing a response. After send out, uh, after you send out your form, you will see your responses on the responses tab that is here. Uh, you can also get an email when new responses arrive. So uh, you can see a summary here, but we have zero responses for our forms. if there are any responses you can see here uh, let me try if i get any summary of the forms mm. no here it is we have one we can see here responses this is the summary what we have got it here uh, 39 responses evening times or morning times or you can also uh, check roll number contact number email ids addresses date of birth like jan 1995 there are four responses three responses for jan 19 20 21 24 29 this is the summary for our forms um, i can now stop your forms also or you just want to see an individual response you can also check individual response of every class or every person thank you see you in next lecture hello guys uh, in previous lecture we talk about the summary now we will talk about uh, see your responses in google sheets uh, spreadsheets in google spreadsheets you can see to analyze your response further you can send them to a spreadsheet 
the spreadsheet is linked to your form so response responses appear in real time so on the responses tab you will click here responses tab then goes to here uh, get an email unlink your form or get email notification for response now we have to uh, check in spreadsheets there are uh, there is our spreadsheet what we collected here our data in the forms or if you want to uh, like if you want to unlink your form you can unlink your form from here uh, to deattach your responses thank you see you in next Hi guys in this lecture we will talk about to export your responses for analysis in other programs you can download them as csv file now we will click on this tab we will select download responses csv file we have options we will click on save we have the folder in zip format we have to unzip uh, this forms in your folder here we call this one all data in CSV format thank you see you in next lecture guys this is the last lecture uh, hopefully you have practiced all previous lectures in this lecture we will just about talk about how to download how to print your responses uh, you will go to the this tab print all responses now we will go towards the printer which one you want to use printer you can change from it here like HP laser jet or other printers you want to use you can use it by here I just click on paper it will print all your individual responses if you want to print if you want to print individual responses you can click on it and just click there it will print all your responses thank you for choosing us see you in next course Hi guys, hope you are well. Uh, in previous uh, lectures, we talk about the Google Forms, how we can make Google Forms and others as aspects of the Google Forms. Now, uh, in this question or after this question, uh, after this section, we will talk about uh, quiz, Google Quiz. There are multiple ways to making a Google uh, to make Google form uh, Google Quiz. Uh, here we can choose from its template gallery also in education like we can select assessment already mm, already make templates you can uh, we can also use templates for example your first question and other things which is already added in this sections or we can also also make a blank quiz here we are recently used or uh, in the education section you will click on the blank quiz it will show you the full blank quiz sections uh, we have also third options that if we ha have any uh, pre forms like even this even registration form we can make uh, the already used section uh, to uh, make it to the uh, Google quiz uh, we will click on settings goes on the quizzes section we will click on this it will automatically 
convert into the quizzes form thank you uh, in do practice before coming to the uh, going to the next lecture thank you see you in next lecture hi guys i believe you have practiced of previous uh, previous uh, lectures in this section we will talk about adding a questions multiple questions or multiple types of questions uh, here we will go through with the your first questions you can also uh, and in this section we will use uh, we can use multiple options like drop down check boxes uh, and uh, multiple choice file upload linear check box grid paragraph or short answers so we will go with the um, options uh, multiple cho uh, multiple choice questions you can add multiple options like uh, three we have already added three options in this yeah uh, we can also specify that people must answer this questions that it is required questions so they must have to be answer this question before submission uh, now we can also add more questions here like now your second question can go here your second questions can go here we can use uh, here multiple options like short answers or check boxes now we are choosing check boxes and we can also copy your uh, existing questions like we want to copy this questions we will click on duplicate so we will get the um, as uh, copy of the uh, your uh, copy of your questions and all the changes will be uh, we can say that automatically saved thank you guys see you in next lecture Hi guys hope you have practiced of previous lectures uh, in this lecture we will talk about collect email addresses and names to identify each respondent and send quiz results or feedback you can collect email addresses and request individual names also so to turn email collection we will click on settings uh, we will mark this checkbox x uh collect email address uh, collect email addresses or you can also uh, check marks response receipts that if respondent requested or you can also send it always it is up to you uh, you can also requires uh, a limit to one person so so that the respondent will be required to sign in to google phone, google also respondent can edit after submit because it is quiz we will not allow an easy summary chart and uh, see summary see summary charts and text box uh, text responses mm -hmm. we will not allow this also and you can also uh, check box uh, check marks this box that shuffle the questions orders show progress bar to the uh, students also we can send confirmation message shows confirmation message in the confirmation message in the end of the quiz that thank you thank you guys we will see you in next lecture Hi guys hope you have practiced all previous lectures in this lecture we will talk about how to specify correct answers so uh, uh this is a multiple choice question answers uh, we will click on answer key now you can also mark the points how many points we want to give in this section for example 1 2 3 4 or 5 and now uh 
option 2 will be the uh, correct answer and in question 2 you can you will mark the numbers for example 5 points these two options because in check boxes you can choose multiple question answers multiple answers so we'll mark multiple answers in this sections this is drop down in this section we'll mark this one or we will we can mark this one also and we can we can mark both of the options in drop down so we will just mark one uh, we will specify the marks it will also for five marks this is how you can marking the questions in this sections uh, now we will go in this section edit questions so this is how we can mark the answers so this is also we will mark for edit questions it is also a required questions it is also a required question thank you guys see you in next lecture hi guys in this section in this lecture we will talk about adding feedbacks to your answers you can add feedback to in for incorrect and correct answers to each questions respondents won't see the feed feedback until they get their results now we will add feedback to answer click your click the questions click on the answer key and add and click on add feedback now for incorrect answer you can write for, for example we are right mock te uh, mock text like for incorrect and for correct answers we will write correct we will save this this will be saved uh, you can also insert any link uh, for example we will click on this you can add any links for example any reference link for incorrect or for mostly we add links for the correct answers or you can add any youtube video also you will save this section click on add questions uh, now we want to uh, check the preview we we'll click on preview how we can how is the this is the preview of this uh, questions of our quiz papers thank you see you in next lecture welcome guys hope you have practiced all previous lectures in this section we will in this lecture we will talk about the restrictions that uh, in sending re uh, restrictions who can fill these forms that you can uh, limit to it limit it limit to one response only so that uh, it will require the sign in sign into google accounts so the you can get any uh, you can get the uh, most purest results or most pure responses from the people who have Google's account. Thank you guys. See you in the next lecture. Hi guys. Now we will talk about sending a quiz. When you are ready to send your send out your quiz, you can send it by email, copy and paste a link in a chat or email messages. Embed it to on website or share a link on social media um, this is at the top right you can click on it send uh, just uh, you will uh, type any for example example at the google dot com you can send it 
uh, you can sign it directly by emails or you can also get a link uh, you can shorten the link you can by sharing any uh, by sharing this link you can get the result or you want to embed you can embed it on your website this is an embedded code or you want to share on social media just click on Facebook or Twitter you can it will be share on social media these are the uh, three we have three options to send the forms to our students or for the response to people thank you guys see you in next lecture hi guys welcome to the new lecture in this lecture we will talk about grading the questions some questions need to be graded manually like short answers or paragraph formats to grade faster and reduce potential bias you can grade by questions this is because identifying information doesn't appear by default you will see the answers for the particular questions at once you can't grade by questions for grid type questions so uh, for grade by response under the response sections we will click on the questions your first first questions uh, the first questions it is you can check mark it as a incorrect or as a correct it is up to you so for example it's a green so it's, it's correct mostly most probably and now we will go on the second it is also showing correct so we will mark correct and for the third it is wrong so we will mark as wrong incorrect and now we will save all the data this is how we can respond by uh, grade by responses thank you guys see you in next hello guys today we will learn about uh, grade by respondent we will click on responses then we will click on individuals now you can grade any an individual entire set of quiz response at once in under uh, for each questions take an you can take this process that in the right most field that there it is you can grade by numbers also if you want to change your points you can change it by four example three it will lose its points or if you want to give maximum numbers or anything else you can change it by here to save for all the changes click on save it will all the save changes will be save if you want go to the another another response you will click on this arrows you will be on another response thank you see you in next lecture hello guys hope you have practiced all previous questions or previous lectures in this lectures we will talk about how to customize quiz results when you send quiz results whether automatically or manually the information included is incorrect responses correct response answers or point values the three main features or informations are included so when you want to customize quiz results you will click on the settings then go to the tab on quizzes then you can now customize the respondent what respondent can see you if you want to see that uh, they can see the missed questions you have to check mark this if they, if, they, is the, if you want to they can see the correct answers you can check mark this if you want to see that the point values they can see you can check mark this now you will click on save your information will be saved thank you guys see you in next lecture hello guys in this lecture we will talk about uh, when you want to choose to send the results uh, you will click on the settings then click on the quizzes tabs 
there are two options you can see immediately after each submission or later after manual review immediately after each submission that means that you can automatically send respond uh, uh, automatically send respondents their results right after the their submission and later after manual review it will uh, allow you to email results to respondents at a time of your choosing selecting the option turns on email collection which is necessary so that you can send results later so that if you want to choose any of the options you can uh, mark this uh, radio check this option and then save thank you guys see you in next lecture hello guys in this lecture we will talk about how to send results by email when you are finishing uh, finished grading and ready to send results you can choose whom to send them you will click on the responses you will click on summary or if you want to individual you will click on individual now you will uh, for example if you want to release scores you will click on this that uh, release a scores if you want to send any message to them you can write there and send them them like thank you for your results and thank you for uh, thank you and whom you want to send all respondents or the selected respondents uh, there are both options then you will click on send emails and release now your scores are released and emails are sent thank you guys see you in next lecture hello guys in this lecture we will talk about print questions or responses both of the options whom what you want to print or if you want to print both you can click you can print both now you will uh, for example if you want print the summary Uh, you will click on this the three dots more then you will click uh, select the options print uh, if you want to questions you want to print questions you can print this one or if you want to print your summary you will click on it and print all responses it will click your it will print all your responses uh, whether you want to select which printers you can change your print uh, print destinations from here then you will click on print it will release your prints thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for taking this course i think this will be hope uh, this will be useful for you uh, and have a good practice on this Thank you guys.